The Russian invasion of Ukraine is bringing back just a flood of memories for those who escaped another atrocity. Mary Jane Belieza shares how Ukraine's fight is hitting close to home for Holocaust survivors here. As a child, I remember the soldiers with machine guns. I remember the bombings. Valentina Lund was only five years old when she left Ukraine. As a Holocaust survivor, she says the situation in her home country is a painful memory from her past. They got captured by the Nazis and then they were sent to concentration camps. Lund still has family in Ukraine who are taking shelter in her brother's cellar. They just started running last week. The Russian soldiers are now going house to house. And she's not the only one reliving this nightmare. It's happening in Russia and Ukraine in a certain way. It reminds me back in 1940s when the Nazis marched in and we didn't know what we were facing. Stephen Nasser survived the Holocaust at 13. I lost all my family. I was the only one survived. But what's happening today, it's unbelievable. While the answer remains unclear of what will happen with Russia and Ukraine, both Nasser and Lund agree we need to learn from history so we don't repeat the past. How far are we going to stand and give a hand to Ukraine? I do not know. It's up to the politician. But while they're paying around with politics, people are dying day to day. Our faith is very strong. The Ukrainian faith is very strong. And that's one thing that keeps us going. Keep going while never forgetting. Mary Jean Belleza, live local now.